I'm Noel Utley, I'm the manager of Avaltir Sustainable Agriculture. Avaltir is a farm in the North Bockefell that has a huge amount of biodiversity of plants on it. And to date we've recorded over 500 species of different plants on Avaltir. And that includes both Feinbos as well as Rhinosterfeld. WWF decided to buy it in order to conserve the Feinbos part of the farm which is about uh, 800 hectares in extent. We formed Avantir Sustainable Agriculture because we realized there was a lot of valuable biodiversity on the other side of the farm, the Renosterfeld part, and we thought it important to conserve that. This part of the farm had heavy erosion on it, extensive degradation, and from the start we set out to try to understand what the cause of the problem was and what we could do about addressing it in order to restore the vegetation. Since 2010 we've been busy implementing a whole range of different measures. The objective, our main, our principles is to keep as much water in the property as possible and allow infiltration. So ha having this water being stored over a wi over winter, like this is a winter rainfall a region, so there's a lot of water that we receive in winter. So having this water stored into the well into the hotter summer days helps to keep the field alive. There's a lot of water erosion coming down from the slope and water being stored here. Previously, the water would uh, go straight down and form all these, this channel of gullies, as you can see down here. There's a lot of gullies that were formed before this dam was built. So building this dam has encouraged a lot of regrowth. Uh, there's a lot of life, there's a lot of, um, of healing downstream. So what we've done to date on Avontir in the eroded areas is we've Firstly, used a lot of the rock that was collected in the past by the by previous land users. When they ploughed the lands, a lot of rocks were ploughed out of the soil and piled up in heaps. So where we've had to deal with serious deep erosion gullies, we've used transport to take those rocks and built check dams in the gullies. And then against the check dams, we've, we've packed shrub and we've also used a material called geotextile, which is made from jute which lasts for a couple of years and in that time by putting it against the check dams it makes a filter which keeps back the organic material and the seeds that are being washed down by the water and allows cleaner water to filter through. Avantir has been a living laboratory for us all for the last years and uh, in the course of the time we've also held a few training workshops and a couple of them were sponsored by Jeff Small Grants program and we had colleagues coming from all over the state Bockefeld, small-scale farmers to come and see what we were doing here and uh, some of the Hesselmann family came, Bennett and Rachel and uh, Umbihin all came and attended workshops here and they were very inspired especially looking at these quite hard soils which are similar to some of the soils they have on their farm which is called Dobalas Kop and in fact they were so inspired that they went back to Dobalas Kop and uh, got thinking about how they could con control erosion there on their harder heavier soils below the Kop itself and that led to a project that was funded also by Jeff Small Grants where they employed a team of people and worked with them to create a series of contour bunds to stop the erosion and catch the runoff water. Ons het by die eerste werkswinkel al van Tier, daar het ons het gesien. En toe dit toe was het vir my 'n goeie inspirasie, want met die wat ons so sukkel met die kontoerwalle en die dongas en die goederse, toe ons het daar gesien en toe ons huis toe gekom, toe ek vir pa gesê, ons kan ons ook vir ons so 'n 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 projek stig. Ons is besig met kontoerwalle te maak hier. 
dat die helpt voor die, voor die velderosie, voor die gronderosie. En zo so jullie maar zo kunnen zien zien die vreselijke brie vloeren zoals die water dat iets iets gekalmerd. Daarom dat die pieze voor de contour wallen en dat die water kan zien zo laat die water kan afloop naar die naar die dam toe of die naar die vlei toe. Daarom is ons bezig met die contour wallen en dat is een dat is een goede ding. Jij ziet me zo lekker hier pan. In die water loop ons weg en op hierdie plaats sukkel ik me al van 1961 af met water. Want uh, 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 als het even is rein, dan loop die water zo maar weer. Die fijn groen, gaan we nou allemaal weg drijven hier af de vier toe. En, en wat wordt nou later, uh, uh, van hier groeit niks op die pannen aan harde grond niet. Uh, dat beskarig die beiding, dat beskarig die grond. Nou, as jy die, ek voel so, as jy die grond kan opblok en bewaar, dan kan daar moes planten groei. Vers, dis weiding vir die dieren, en, en dat is goed vir, vir, vir alles. Die verlangste is, uh, 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 ek meen, ek weet, dat, en ek is verzeker daarvan, dat daar sal bij een verandering kom. As ons nou kop toekom, dan kan ons nou misschien ons handen werk, en, jy verstaan, so dis my verwachtinge, en, en die, en blie so baie verspoelings ook sien nie, en grond erosie en die goeders, dit is my verwachtinge. En op een bid, laat dat die kon doen, walles al stiewe gewees, laat die water hier nog moet verspoelings maak, hier so nie. Laat die water daar voor die opgaan, want daar was kop, kreeg maar zwaar zonder water. For the future, we want to see Avantir being used productively as, as a farm that we can show, we can use to demonstrate how land can be conserved on the one hand and also uh, contribute to feeding humanity on the other hand. Mm -hmm.